What to do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video, your girl is here to bring you another video in my Must Have Muscag series. This is my series I created inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I always have her series and the community playlist linked down below, as well as all the Instagram pages I follow to get all of this makeup knowledge. And lastly, but certainly not least, I link down below and list, of course, all of the items that I discuss in this video. Um, towards the beginning of this video, I typically like to try and highlight any products that I I've purchased from a previous week um, to show you guys that I picked it up or just to talk about it really and there are quite a few that I have picked up lately so let me get them and then I can like show you guys oh and I also need to put on setting spray so <laughs> let's do all of that I'll scoot over at the same time it'll it'll just be a nice little transition let's do it Okay, now there are three products that I wanted to highlight. I've been talking about them pretty much nonstop, so I wanted to at least show you guys that I was able to pick them up. I did get one of the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum products from Makeup by Mario, and I got it in the shade Mocha Glow. Liter Oop. Okay, this is the first time I've even opened this. I didn't know it's a click, so I'm assuming you cannot click it back down. So I'm not going to click it up too much, but it's pretty much the same shade as this actual compact. So I'm actually really, really excited for this product. I get a lot of use out of these products sitting here at my desk in between editing or just like I read sometimes at my desk as well but also every day like at work and stuff I have a very similar product um, so I do get a lot of use out of these which is why the last couple of lip products that you see me pick up are in that formulation. I also did pick up just the foundation from Danessa Myricks. I picked up the shade or er, the Yummy Skin Serum Foundation in the shade 29 in. I have absolutely no idea if this is actually going to work for me, but I did see a review by Chelsea Chelsea something. I don't remember, but she does a lot of like comparison uh videos and she also has like a consulting business now and I really trust her she's like all in um, high end and luxury beauty and basically she was saying how this is the perfect kind of foundation between her two foundations from Danessa Myricks that if you don't want to buy the vision cream and basically have to dilute it yourself this is the perfect version and I think that is why I had so much trouble with that foundation when I tried it in the low sample I did not think about the fact that that is literally so concentrated that you have to like mix it yourself to make it the perfect uh, formulation or even consistency for you and I just didn't know that I didn't have that information ahead of time and it was just it was a mess it was a mess if you've seen that video you know what I'm talking about but basically I picked this up really really excited to try it this is the first foundation that I have picked up in like I want to say years honestly I've been really good to focus in on the foundations that I already have I think the last foundation I picked up was actually the correct shade for me in the Fenty uh pro filter so yeah anyways really really excited to try this oh I forgot one where is it <sighs> leave it to me okay so the one that I actually forgot is actually the KVD uh good apple concealer so I I'm pretty sure I talked about this and I pretty much said that like it wasn't what I would want because it is full coverage and granted that is very true but I am finding that quite a few of my foundations are actually full coverage and if you don't apply your concealer correctly it can look really sloppy in my opinion and so I did want to just add one full coverage concealer that is the perfect shade for me I did not pick that I, I didn't do it so this is too dark this is dark enough for when I get my summer shade this will maybe be highlighting but this pretty much looks like it would be an actual skin tone shade so i need to go lighter than this this is deep 183 and i believe this was like the deepest the deep shade in this range that was neutral undertone so same with this one this is definitely a neutral undertone so i'm just gonna go probably one to two shades lighter than this and look for the neutral undertone version to potentially get the concealer after I try it. I want to see if I actually enjoy the formulation. I'm not one to get multiple shades in a concealer, but because I don't have a lot of concealers and I do feel I go through them um, in a decent amount of time, I don't feel bad 
um, potentially picking up a second concealer in that range, let alone maybe I won't even do that because I do have one or two concealers that I'm actually aiming to pick up during the VIB sale, either to re-up on a concealer that I've loved in the past or to try a different concealer as well that I am interested in. I've never been a huge person to kind of um, try a lot of concealers, but I'm interested and you know if I can get a discount and if I can actually genuinely afford it then why not the last product that I want to highlight um, that I've talked about in this video series that I actually received is the Natasha Denona pastel palette that is what's on my eyes today this is the second out of the three looks that I'm gonna be doing in a video which should be coming up on Wednesday if all things go according to plan which they have for the first two days tomorrow should be the day you're watching this I should be filming the last look editing the video and getting it all ready for Wednesday. Um, basically, I've tried almost all of the shades in this palette. Uh, I just have like four that I haven't tried within the two looks that I've done. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna give too much away, but I did wanna get my personal review swatches all of that up before the VIB sale in the event that somebody who honestly doesn't need to buy this Full price because they're not an influencer regardless of their level uh, wants to pick this up during the VIB sale so that's why I wanted to get this video up this week so I'm aiming to do that and I think it really will be able to happen um, I'm trying to think that's pretty much that there may be one or two other things that I've picked up but I have not highlighted them in this series so no need to talk about them if you're interested in seeing my full-on haul for the month of March just stay tuned early next month I will talk to you guys about it there's quite a bit to talk about today I am filming this on Saturday um, and I haven't really been paying attention to my phone all day so I'm sure there's more things that I will have to highlight so I'm not going to talk too much more let's just get into it as I said last week the Ulta 21 days of beauty is still going personally as of today I have not picked anything up from the sale not that there has been anything that's been bad about it I just haven't felt uh fully move to pick up any one thing from this particular sale. So I am going to go ahead and pass pretty much I think on everything. But I just wanted to highlight this uh, sale in the event that you really do look forward to it or there are products in here that are really something that you would enjoy. Um, I just wanted to make sure you know. In addition, like I've said before, the VIB sale will be starting April 1st for Rouge members and going until the 15th. So keep ahead of that. And then lastly, for big retailer sales, Beautylish is already showing that their gift card event will be happening soon. I am actually really, really excited for that. I tend to go ham on their uh, gift card event because I Beautylish has a lot of very expensive brands um, and I feel it's more beneficial for me to buy during this sale to get something back even if it's not 100% of my money because Beautylish if I can remember correctly does not get points through Rakuten and I just I need some reason to be okay with purchasing even though there are things that I may need or just really really want have the money for that all of it I just I need some form of incentive so that sale definitely is always an incentive and then the last thing I want to just talk about when it comes to sales there may be a couple other things that I need to highlight but and when it comes to sales for me this is going to be the time where a lot of brands are going to be doing sales. You guys have seen it. All your emails have been blasting pretty much since the beginning of March because everybody knows people get their refunds from taxes around now. So be smart about it. If you're only getting like 15% off, I would not recommend it. I honestly would hold out until you get at least 25 and up. Pat McGrath is doing 25% off on her uh, website minimum. A lot of people are getting 50% off of certain products. So I would just say really... Be as smart as you personally can, and I'm sure you'll be able to find some really good deal, um, sales for yourself. So Ritual Defeat is coming out with a new series. This is their Spring Renewal series where they released small batches of particular lip shears. I've not tried this formula. I do have two products from Ritual Defeat, but they are their cream cheek product formulation. So they have two uh, lip products in Lilium and Water Violet. Neither of these shades are really calling to me. 
Um, but you know, I just wanted to highlight the brand. I know they are really, really popular. NARS has come out with their summer collection and in their summer collection, they have three blush and bronzer duos. I like that there is a range there. For me personally, I have not picked anything up from this range, mainly because of the fact that the one bronzer that I know is going to, well, I think is going to work for me. I don't like the blush shade. I am not one that really wears plum toned blushes. I will wear a neutral tone blush, uh, like a, uh, a very bright blush, but something plummy like this, I typically will not reach for it. So I went ahead and passed on that. NARS is also coming out with an eyeshadow palette in this collection and it's cute. I will say NARS's formulation is bomb.com. In my opinion, I picked up a palette from them at the very beginning of my makeup journey and I knew then that that palette was really, really pretty. It was just super boring when I picked it up. I was just like, Where, where's the color? Where's the, the nosh? I, I, I don't know. So I didn't end up picking up anything else from the brand since then. Uh, and this is nothing to really write home for me. So I am going to go ahead and pass on this as well. Cosette has come out with a palette that showcases eight of their most popular crystal cream shadows. And I remember wanting to pick up so many products from this brand from a YouTuber that used to be, uh, that used to uh, post on here and I still am intrigued this is a black owned brand I believe the owner used to be a model or is a makeup artist somewhere in there they are definitely in the industry and I really wanted to support I really try and support as many black owned brands as I can and this looks really really pretty but once again for me I typically don't like to buy palettes that are all one formulation but if i remember correctly this is actually depotable so there is still room for me to potentially pick this one up right now though i just don't have the money uh so right now i'm gonna pass but maybe next month or in the future i will pick it up midas cosmetics has now showcased their last launch of products that they are going to be releasing before they close down and they are two six pan palettes one is more pinky in tone and they called it material girl okay and then the other one i don't think it's a name but it's a lot more neutral in tone i think these are both cute but neither of these are groundbreaking for me um and then addition like i said the fact that the brand is uh, closing i just don't feel a pull to pick anything up plus the two palettes that i got from them in the past they were okay but they weren't great so i just you know i had already said to myself i was not going to pick anything else up from the brand so this is a collection that I referenced yesterday in my video that uploaded on Saturday and um, I will try to remember to link that down below in case you are interested. But this is the Pat McGrath Bridgerton second collection. So long story short, I basically was able to talk myself out of this whole collection. I think if anything, had the blush palette been in the same format as her previous blush palettes, that would have been the thing to make me pull the trigger. But I don't like the packaging. I'm sure it's going to be nice and bulky. I don't want it. The eyeshadow palette is cute, but it's nothing revolutionary, not only compared to the previous palette, but compared to any of her collections, it just, it, there's nothing unique about it. The lip products are cute, but nothing I'm going to wear. And then I don't wear shimmy body products. So the whole collection was an easy pass. And honestly, my wallet is happy about that. Rem Beauty is coming out with some new products. This is chapter two. She is coming out with new eyeshadow palettes. Um, oh, this is not the most up to date. Where's the most up-to-date one? She's coming out with new eyeshadow palettes. Um, also, it looks like a setting spray, gel eyeshadows, eyeshadow glosses, lipsticks, a whole bunch of stuff. There, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And there's also um, lashes. For me, this is an easy pass. I think this brand is just not meant for me. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, based on Laura Mae Beauty's um, review in the first launch, it just did not seem up my alley. So it was an easy pass then. And I think I'm going to continue to pass now. So this brand, 
Susie Kiki uh, has come out with a Sunset Florist Baked 3D Highlighter Palette. Um, and, you know, it's cute, but I know it's not going to work for me. So I am going to go ahead and pass. But I actually want to highlight this brand again. So there is a new makeup release um, Instagram that I follow, and they are called Trend Stuck. Stopia. I'm going to try and remember to add them to the links down below because they currently aren't there. And basically, I will have the photo of interest on the screen. They took a lighter skin model and added dark foundation. And it's just tacky. And it's also just like we're in 2022. It's really not that hard to get a black or or darker skinned model there if you don't have it then just don't provide the information don't provide the swatches because honestly it's just tacky for you to add the foundation onto a lighter skin model and then show the line of demarcation between their actual skin tone and the bloody foundation at least be smart about it. like i just i don't understand these brands i really don't so for that reason I will not pick up anything from this brand um, and I personally would not recommend picking anything out from this brand but in the event that you are still interested and it does not phase you that they did that there you go so simply posh cosmetics which is a brand that I was interested in for their cozy cabin eyeshadow palette they are relaunching or restocking all of their products I know this brand pretty much went viral for their last couple of things all of those like fully glittery shimmery eyeshadow palettes and then the cozy cabin really pushed them over the edge do i actually have the money for this no but if i go on that website today to link all of these things and that cozy cabin is available and in stock i might pick it up I might pick it up I was very very interested in it I love I just love it I love it so we'll see we'll see what happens West Men Atelier um, is coming out with brow products so they have four different brow pencils these will be available at Sephora I'm assuming some point either during or right after the VIB sale Sephora does tend to do that sometimes and what's interesting about this is it looks like this product potentially has a brow pomade or gel and the actual pencil all in one and it's $38 that's intriguing that's a very intriguing I would love to see what's going on with that and they have some shades that I think will work for me um we'll see I'll keep my eye out because I follow uh what is her name she does the monday will i buy it Britch. uh what what is her actual instagram name i don't she calls people britches that's what she calls her like subscribers um either way i follow her and she raves about a lot of westman atelier products i've said that if I have the money during a VIB sale I would pick some stuff up I don't think I'm gonna have the money to really add that to my cart this go around that said Westman Atelier is still in the back of my hand head some of the stuff has been slightly intriguing I'm slightly intrigued to see what they would do for me because that is a full-on luxury brand and I don't really have a lot of luxury brands in base products and other stuff I truly stick to high-end and indie so it'd be very intriguing intriguing um if you've tried Westman Atelier please let me know what is your favorite stuff from the brand what you hate dislike let your girl know so that I potentially won't pick up any of those really bad products Beauty Creations has created a palette inspired by Ariel I will say this the actual color scheme of this palette is actually very very pretty but there are a lot of shades in this palette it's probably somewhere around 35 shades based on really quickly counting up um some of the estimating it um really pretty but i just i don't really have i don't think any palettes in my collection that are this big maybe my lick and lash palettes but 
Yeah, very, very few and far in between. iHeart Revolution has come out with a collaboration with Dr. Seuss, and I'm wondering if iHeart Revolution has not heard the controversies about Dr. Seuss. There are a lot. Uh, I don't know if it's because I work in the library industry or I work with books, that's why I know those controversies, but I wouldn't have touched Dr. Seuss. I understand a lot of people have really good childhood memories about reading Dr. Seuss books and like watching the TV shows that are based on it, but there's so much controversy and like, I just wouldn't touch him. I would not touch him with a 10 foot pole, but here we are again, make a revolution, touching everything and there's some, nothing really cute about any of the color schemes. The palettes are ugly. The highlighter palettes are ugly. I just, there's nothing really raven. I, easy pass, easy, easy pass. LYS Beauty has come out with some new shades for their cream blushes, which I think is nice. I still have yet to actually try this cream blush formula. And there are a couple that I do have in my loves list right now at Sephora that I've truly had there since they launched at Sephora and they launched everywhere. I just still have not pulled the trigger. Um, I don't know. I just haven't pulled the trigger. We'll see. Maybe in the future. One collection of cheek products that I know I'm not going to be picking up, period, is from Tarte. These are their cheek stains that are originally launched in 1999. For me, these don't work. They don't work. They're not dark enough. They're not pigmented enough. So that's an easy, easy pass for me. I won't even look at it. Stila is coming out with some new products. They're coming out with a palette that has a blush and eyeshadows in them. I think that for those who like one palette and they run through that one palette, this could potentially be useful, arguably, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's nothing new, nothing really intriguing. And for me right now, for me to really pick something up, it has to be intriguing. I have to do a double take, triple take because Gas alone is expensive. Y'all, I have a hybrid and the amount of money I have put into my, the amount of money that I have put into my car this past month alone is ridiculous. So things really have to catch me. They have to catch me. Laura Mercier is doing a tinted moisturizer blush. I think this is really smart for them to release seeing as they have released a new tinted moisturizer. And so you know that these products are going to be similar formulation and going to be a soft flush, but not like super, super opaque. I think it makes sense. I just don't wear tinted moisturizers. I literally will either wear no foundation or I'll wear a whole lot of foundation. So for me, this is not a product that would make any sense at all, but I'm sure a lot of people will get use out of it. Rihanna keeps dropping new shades of her lip gloss left and right. And this one is in the shade Heat, which is a lavender-ish shade. I'm sure it's cute, but I know me, this is not a shade I'm gonna get any use out of. So I am going to go ahead and pass. ColourPop has come out with a new collection and this is Daisy Does It. In this collection they have an eyeshadow palette, three cheek um, super shock blushes but these are their matte formulation. They have super shock eyeshadows, eyeliners, and lip products. I will say this, for me the eyeshadow palette actually looked halfway decent. I liked the different tones of colors that they have in this collection or in that eyeshadow palette but it's not enough for me personally to break my kind of unofficial no buy situation when it comes to ColourPop. I do have one or two products that are somewhat staples for me right now but I am aiming to get some brands that I prefer um, to kind of overtake those. So last week I talked about the Pillow Talk uh, range being expanded with more products and Trendstopia has shown us that they have um, eyeshadow palette, they also have luxury quads um, and highlighter products. Okay, let's just go through it. So there are two different shades it looks like of the Pillow Talk highlighter, which I do appreciate. There is one that's more lighter toned, more pinkier toned, and the other one looks to be more like nudie darker toned. So that nudie darker tone might actually work on me. The eyeshadow palette looks 
basic extremely basic there are browns and like maybe some pinky uh shimmers which aren't really intriguing but you know you never know then there are two new shades of the highlighter wand that looks to be coming out both i'm assuming in pillow talk but she can't ever seem to have, keep those in stock so i'm like why do you keep bringing more out keep the ones that you have available in stock then she has another eye uh, mascara and then maybe like another cheek uh they had like a cream lip and cheek stain so maybe another one of those the only thing that i think from this whole collection that i may potentially pick up is that highlighter but i wouldn't be opposed to a blush quad or an eyeshadow quad i have wanted to kind of expand my knowledge base when it comes to charlotte tilbury but like i said things have to be like okay i can't be spending money and then getting flops so we'll see we'll see what happens we'll see so the brand that used to be muse beauty pro i believe which is now Kal kalavi Kalav i don't know Kai, Kai Love, Kai Love Beauty, they've come out with a new collection and in this collection are two products. One that is a collaboration and it's like one of those cake eyeliner palettes and the other is the actual eyeshadow palette. And this eyeshadow palette is basically a small curated uh, rainbow palette. I think that it is cute, but it's not something that I need to bring into my collection. So I am personally going to continue to pass. Adept Cosmetics is sneak peeking that they're coming out with a new, new eyeshadow palette. I, it's apparently a collaboration, so I'm excited to see who they're collaborating with, but I'm also excited to see the color scheme of this. What I'm really, really excited, above and beyond excited about this product, is the fact that there are four different mattes in this palette. I am truly, truly excited for that. I find that like I said, I don't necessarily want to pick up a palette that has only shimmers, but I also don't want to pick up a palette that has only mattes. I like to have variety. Would I have preferred more mattes? Of course. But at this point, I just really want to try the formula from this brand. I hear nothing but great things. So I'm hoping that potentially I may be intrigued by this color scheme and I may want to pick it up. Uh, Instagrammer that I follow who is based in France is doing a collaboration with Sephora France. I don't know if this is coming to the US's Sephora, but I still wanted to highlight this. And her name is Mar Marion Chameleon, I believe. And she is doing a collaboration, like I said, with Sephora. This is the palette. It's cute. It's cute. It is, I would say, a rainbow and neutral toned palette all combined. I really love that money shade. I love, I love the the tone of that. That's a really, really pretty shade and unique shade to say that, especially going into like a Sephora, that's extremely unique for a Sephora uh, product. But like I said, I don't think this is going to be available in the United States or even like in Canada. But for those people who potentially may be in France or have access to Sephora France, I did want to just go ahead and highlight that. Olaplex is coming out with the Bomb Protector Nourishing Hair Serum. I'm pretty sure the Olaplex product that I picked up and tried was the product that made my scalp go to the high heavens, so I will not be picking this up. I won't be touching that brand ever again, but for those who may not have those difficulties, I wanted to let you guys know. ColourPop seems to be coming out with a collaboration with Avatar, and I have thoughts. I have so many thoughts. First of all, like how are they going to do it they're probably going to do one collection for each nation which isn't a bad take but like i just not a please don't do a monochromatic palette because honestly you've already done them you've already done them you've done them brights you've done them more savory and you've also done pastel versions of every color under the sun so i'm hoping that even if they do do like one collection for each nation or even one eyeshadow palette for each nation it's something unique, something different, okay? There is so much that you can pull from Avatar, and then you can also pull from the TV shows, the movies, and then also from the graphic novels. I just, we'll wait and see. We will wait and see. Then Moira is coming out with bronzers, and these have those really, really pretty uh, imprints in them. They're, 
you know, they have four bronzers, but I don't trust that any of them are going to be dark enough for me. Honestly, I just don't trust it. They're not even swatching on somebody of my complexion for that reason, which I'm not even about to hate on you, sis. You know that yours aren't dark enough. Don't even play yourself or me. So I'm going to pass on that easily. A brand that I think I got a sample of something from them and I still haven't tried it is Rose Ink. So they have a satin lip rich refillable lipstick range that they just launched i'm really loving these refillable lip products for me right now and i'm sure a lot of people being eco-friendly is really important it's so so important so i'm so appreciative of all these makeup brands that are allowing things to be at least less um clutter in the world and all these landfills now when i'm looking at the shades though there's not a shade that i feel overly motivated to pick up you guys know me browns are my thing they're my thing and so these are more pinky undertone with like it's just it's just not my thing i don't think i'm gonna pick up anything uh right now from this initial launch but i may pick something else up from the launches in the future i do just want to go through all of these makeup pages really really quickly just to make sure that there's nothing that i missed that i really really want to talk to you guys about um i think we're good i think we're good for right now which is perfect because my camera is dying once again apparently i talked up a storm today uh so overall this week am i interested in anything oh the sun actually wants to come back out thank you um this week right now i'm not really overly interested in anything to the point where i'm pretty sure i'm gonna pick it up there are a couple of things that i may throw in a cart here or there but nothing overly extravagant i would love to hear if there's anything that you're really interested in um honestly i've been having to buy necessities at this point um and some of these splurging things as much as i would love to buy all of them i just can't i just can't so yeah like i said comment down below uh let your girl know what you've been loving what you've been hating all of that and everything in between and i will see you guys in my video on wednesday like i said which should be my natasha denona three looks one palette and kind of deep dive into the pastel palette Alrighty, guys bye